Welcome to another episode of General Purpose TV. I'll show you what I want to try and fix today. Something that has I've been working on for a long time, and I can't can't figure out how to make this work. Let me go ahead and show you what that is. Okay. So you can see this uh, <coughs> oil pressure gauge all over the place. Clearly not working correctly. And originally when I got the Jeep it had some an aftermarket oil pressure gauge. <coughs> this one here is electronic, the stock one. And it had a, I don't know, what you, I guess mechanical basically a, a, a small tube ran to the oil pressure sensor and I guess it would literally measure the pressure of, of the oil based on a plastic tube with oil flowing through it coming from the engine into the engine compartment where the original one was a oil pressure sensor that was electric and it would just send uh, you know a particular voltage to the gauge and the gauge would Display the pressure based on the uh, resistance uh, the voltage that it was seeing. So I, I bought a new gauge, this one that you see here. I couldn't find on eBay a stock OEM one, a used one, so I went ahead and went with this guy. And I, I ran new ground, I ran a new wire straight to the oil pressure sensor, and I actually went down to like Nap, <clears throat> advanced Auto and Nap with one of those and got a new oil pressure um, I guess sending unit and put that in as well and this is what I get the needle is all over the place and I, I know the wires are hooked up correctly to the gauge because um, when I swap it around it doesn't move at all it just goes right to 80 <clears throat> so what I did was I bought from uh, Collins Brothers Jeeps online. I, I, I bought a oil pressure sending unit that is specific to this Jeep. Thinking maybe um, I originally got the wrong one, and I'm gonna put that in today, and hopefully that helps. So let's go take a look at. Let me show you what I got. This is what I bought new from Napa, and it's got like a, I had to use like a brass adapter at the bottom. I don't think it's this guy. It's what it screws into. I'll take it off and uh, we'll see. But you can see it also has, let's see if I get my finger in there. There's this electrical harness here that plugs into this brass fitting and which this brass fitting goes into the block and then the oil pressure sending unit goes into the fitting you can see this wire here this purple wire goes back to the gauge and you can see this yellow one here is a new wire I ran up through the firewall and so I got a brand new wire going to it <clears throat> and it still doesn't work. So what I want to do, I want to take this all off and just get a closer look at it. Because this is what I bought. This is what I got online from a Jeep, you know, Collins Brothers. And it says it's specific to my engine, so... So we'll see. Let me take all this apart. Pull out what I have in here. Pull out that adapter fitting I was telling you about. Maybe that's screwing it up. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm going to get this out of here and see.
Yeah, I wonder if this <clears throat> color wires are these two red. I wonder what I don't even know what is this thing. Let me get a wrench. Nine sixteenths. Alright, here's the one I pulled out. Here's the one I bought. Definitely different. I mean, I don't know if it's a different, just a different company, slightly different design, or if they all should look identical. But they're not the same, so maybe this unit is wrong. But let me show you as well. I feel like this I put on. But maybe not, I don't remember now. I felt like I had to get an adapter to make this work. But I'm not sure. Now my new one, this guy here. Oops, sorry. Let me adjust that. See if this even screws in. It does. But probably would screw right into the block too. I just don't know what this does. It's not like there's dummy lights on the dash. You know. I try taking this out, seeing what happens. Okay, side note, found this image online. It shows that that electrical connector going into the uh, fitting here for the oil pressure sensor is a oil pressure switch for electric choke and manifold heater. <clears throat> now, I don't have the original Carter carburetor, so I'm sure this is not even being used anymore, so I'm... Just for my uh, troubleshooting purposes here, I'm going to leave this disconnected and take out that fitting and plug the oil pressure sensor, uh, screw that directly into the block, and uh, continue on with my testing. So here it goes. Well, let's just put this in. And start up the engine, just see what happens. I'll just hand tighten it. All right, let's start it up. So during my troubleshooting here off camera, I uh, found some things online, some useful stuff here. So uh, I'm going to share it with you. This this gauge chart um, shows you based on what model year Jeep you have, uh, 
what wires go to what terminals on the back. You know, your middle one there, I'm using the um, the one inch depth gauge, so the middle is my ground. Um, the one on the left goes to your, your sensor, and the one on the right goes uh, to a 12 volt ignition. Um, so that's showing you how to hook it up correctly, and it also shows you the uh, resistance in ohms that you should be seeing from your oil pre pressure uh, sensor. Okay, so that's useful because what you really want to do is take a voltmeter, uh, turn it to uh, ohms, and test the resistance f coming from your, your, your sensor while the engine's running. So you can see there what the resistance should be in ohms based on the, uh, the different PSI that the sensor is picking up from the oil pressure. Um, mine happens to be constantly at 60, which seems a bit high, uh, but I uh, I tested it over and over again, and that seems to be what it what it uh, what it's coming up as. You know, when I put my uh, voltmeter up to it with the engine running, it's showing up at about 35 uh, ohms. So that's that's right around uh, you know. 70 psi I guess um, and here's another um, diagram showing uh, you know what wires should be going to what terminals on the back of your gauge itself um, and this is uh, vital you got to get this correct or nothing's gonna work it's either not going to show anything or stick right at 80 psi the whole entire time all right hope you can hear me. I want to show you this. Pretty steady. So what I did here was I took my gauge and I basically uh, hooked the positive of the battery right to the 12 volt side of the gauge, grounded it to the battery, and then took a jumper and just hooked it right up to the sensor. And it was showing like a steady 20 pounds PSI. However, when uh, I hooked it up into the cab itself with the wire that is like, you know, in the harness, um, aside from my yellow uh, wire coming from the sensor that ran ran new, it shows like a 60 to 70 PSI constant when the uh, Jeep is running. So I'm not sure. So I'm not quite sure what the deal is there. Thirteen. This is with the new oil pressure sending unit. And it's reading like 70 psi. So, according to the uh, diagram I found online. You know, around 13 ohms resistance is uh, about 60 psi, almost 70. So maybe this is accurate. Uh, anyways, it's working better than it was, so I think I'm going to sit on this for a while and make sure that it stays like that, drive it around for a little bit, and uh, hopefully that's fixed. Alright guys, so thanks again for watching. I'm not sure if I have this fixed, but I'm just going to uh, leave it for a while and, and see um, if, if it stays the way it is or if it gets worse or any better. Sometimes you know, with these old Jeeps, that's what happens. You just got to let this old mechanical stuff sort of break in. So uh, that's what I'm uh, going to do for now. I just want to give you one last look at how I have it all wired. Might be hard to see it. Okay. I put the the uh, temperature switch or the pressure switch that goes to the carburetor back on, and I got everything hooked up without the stock uh, electrical wire going to the gauge using my new one, the yellow one there. So we'll see how that goes.
all right again thanks for watching uh like comment or subscribe or dislike as well if you don't like it and uh give you a little preview on what's going to be my next video this here got to replace the ripped boot on the lower steering shaft and all the grease is getting dirt in it so I'm going to take it all apart and try and put this replacement rubber boot on with all the bearings and uh, all new grease and see how that goes. Alright, so we'll see you all next time. Thanks.